Hey everyone, Savannah here with Safe Jack. If your bottle jack is unable to support a load, won't pump up, or seems squishy when supporting a load, this likely indicates that there's excess air trapped somewhere within the jack. Today we're going to show you how to remedy this by quickly and easily purging the air from your hydraulic bottle jack, otherwise known as bleeding your bottle jack. Here we have an Omega brand bottle jack, which we'll use for this demonstration. Before you begin, make sure the ram plunger is fully lowered. The first step is to set the release valve to the open position. Using your pump handle, engage and turn the release valve counterclockwise one half turn. Now, insert the pump handle into the handle sleeve and pump 10 full strokes. Finally, set the release valve to the closed position by engaging and turning clockwise until you feel firm resistance to further turning. At this point, your jack may work again. Consider doing a safe and controlled test with the jack to see if this fixed the problem. If not, try this next trick. Put the pump handle back into the handle sleeve and pump up the jack halfway. Now that we've pumped it up halfway, we're going to flip it upside down, letting gravity do the work and moving the air upwards. Then you'll once again open up the release valve and the ram will compress. You may have to apply some force. Now close up the release valve all the way and turn the jack back over. The last step is we need to open the oil filler plug just a little bit. The Omega brand bottle jack has an oil filler plug that can be removed with a standard or flat head screwdriver. If your bottle jack has a screw instead, you may need to unscrew it slightly for this next step. Work the screwdriver under the filler plug just enough so that the pressure inside the bottle jack equalizes with the atmospheric pressure. You may hear some hissing, but don't worry, that's just the air being released. Now, make sure the filler plug is closed back up by applying some pressure with the screwdriver's handle, and you're done! Your bottle jack should now be back in working order. Thanks for watching this tutorial by SafeJack. If you have any further questions, shoot us an email, info at safejacks.com, or give us a call at 509-735-2106.